Hey, this is not sir, and this is the Tier 8 U.S. Destroyer Benson. It has four main guns, 10 torpedoes, 12 AA guns, a surface detection of 7.4 kilometers, top speed 38.5 knots, total health 15,400. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main battery and propulsion, faster torpedo aim speed, faster rudder shift. For my commander, situation awareness, faster turret traverse, lower cooldown on torpedoes, superintendent, and last stand. We are on the map Two Brothers. I spawned in on the east side, and I'm going to head up the eastern flank. There's trees everywhere. I have the AA hull. These are special hulls that become available at Tier 6 for both the destroyers, US and Japanese. And you can basically decide to swap out your boost for defensive fire. The defensive fire for destroyers comes with two charges by default. But since I have Superintendent, I get an extra charge on them. Now, the defensive fire and the AA conversely are not very good on destroyers but it does provide the debuff that makes bombs and torpedoes less accurate so from that standpoint it's really effective at protecting friendly battleships carriers cruisers you name it it's really good for providing that area of effect denial that defensive fire really does provide and we're spotted damn it already at the beginning of the game and I wanted to be in an ambush position an enemy Fubuki tier 8 Japanese destroyer well we're able to land a couple shots do minimal damage jeez that's awful and we break line of sight we're gone just as we appeared the US destroyers for the last three or four tiers have been just awful the range on the torpedoes has been unacceptable to say the least and the detection range is nothing to be happy about either. But the Benson has an upgraded torpedo that actually outranges the detection of the ship, finally. But it only has a speed of 52 knots. Yes. Now that speed's pretty garbage, but the enemy's going to maneuver every once in a while incorrectly, and you will find success even with slow torpedoes. The enemy aircraft carrier was trying to send aircraft to bypass defenses and locate a weak target like an isolated battleship or the friendly aircraft carrier we of course spotted it and we have an idea of where the enemy is going so we're gonna end up demoing this defensive fire setup these two battleships are vulnerable so I'm gonna work my way over to these battleships and provide defensive fire for them while their AA actually provides the damage you'll see how effective this is I actually was really excited because this was really the first time I was able to get in the perfect scenario where you're supporting battleships that already have fantastic range on their AA, amount of AA. They just lack the ability to debuff enemy aircraft and prevent them from doing damage to them. And they're almost in range. We're going to hold it until they're committed and we're going to pop it. It looks like he's going to try and do a point-blank island, and we pop it, and most of his torpedoes smack into the island. They don't even leave the island. He did it so close, and now we have basically ambushed him and the bomber. The bomber doesn't have any interest in using the dive bombs. He sees that he's going to be inaccurate, and he wants to pull back, and they wiped out, you know, 50% of the enemy torpedo bomber squadron. And it looks like an enemy is actually trying to sail to the center gap. It kind of looks like they might have adjusted the size of the gap slightly. But who can really tell? It could just be a more accurate minimap. There's a couple things I've noticed. Fault line on the western side near where A usually is. One of the islands was slightly adjusted. So they could have touched this map. Obviously, you can see the trees, but this guy is crazy. Why would you go this way, Atlanta? This is a suicide. It's like a light tank rushing forward. He's going to try and point blank this destroyer. I don't know why the destroyer is so close to this guy. Yep, he's showing his side. There are the torpedoes. Another thing, I actually think they fixed the animation on torpedoes. You can see the splashes in the water, and you can see the torpedoes actually leaving the launchers now. So... It's a little bit easier to perceive the threat that's coming your way. And it does look like the enemy is pushing the eastern flank. There's not really a place I can go to provide the support I need. We don't have enough on the eastern flank, obviously. 
and I don't have the range or the speed on torpedoes to really strike these guys without them maneuvering out of the way. But that's not going to stop me. I can provide defense, and I love defense. It's so fun to watch the enemy slowly come towards you and to be able to use your torpedoes, use tactics to basically frustrate them. We have most of our team pushing the western flank. The friendly aircraft carrier is joining them, so they'll have pretty good air support. And if all else fails, the aircraft carrier can provide us with air support if our flank is falling. And I'm just looking for a target. Any target will do. I'm not picky. And it looks like this cruiser might be the perfect target. Now, we don't want to be ambushed by this cruiser. I was obviously thinking about moving forward, but I thought better of it. And I'm going to try and use this island to hide my presence as the Atlanta goes through that open gap that can basically see me if I showed up just outside of this island. So we're going to crash into the island, choose to crash into the island, and we want to basically broadside this Atlanta as he's moving south to attack the friendly battleship and the friendly cruiser. We've already lost one battleship. It's 5v2 in their perspective. I can't really assist in the brawling aspects of this, but I can try and send out torpedoes. And the Atlanta, he doesn't want any of that. He's just maneuvering away, frustrating the hell out of me. Because all I want to do is use torpedoes. Damn it. I'm a destroyer. And I never get to do it. There's either aircraft in the air, or they have the ability to react. You know, they should get that. And the Atlanta instantly decides to fire on my position. Check to see if I have any way of using my torpedoes. No. The friendly cruiser goes down. We're just given ground. and <laughs> The Alba misses slightly, I believe. The Atlanta misses until the second salvo there, and we take a little bit of damage. Torpedoes, hmm. That must mean that the Fubuki is farther southeast than any enemy ship. Friendly and an enemy collide in the gap. It would be interesting if their hulls would just stay up above the water so they would prevent any ships from passing through, but we're not quite there yet with the game. But that's a, that's a dream scenario. That's not existing in the game currently. The torpedoes incoming, they're going to try and go after either myself or get a nice strike on the friendly battleship. And we're trying to get in range so we can at least have our AA attacking it. And we're just trying to bait him into trying to use his torpedoes. And yep, we're able to use it with just enough time for it to be active. And you can see he has an inaccurate torpedo strike. All the torpedoes are going every which way. Only two of them make contact with the battleship. I don't know if he causes flooding, but we were able to successfully prevent damage directly. And the U.S. destroyer probably has to do that until they get torpedoes that outrange and have the speed to hit their targets. So basically, 6, 7, and 8 should focus on close support, I think, especially with defensive fire existing in the game as it does now. Prior to it, you felt very useless, and God, the Fubuki, he's going even farther south than New Mexico is going to lose and we are all alone and visible because we're too close to the Fubuki. So we have six enemy ships all pressing this flank. We're basically alone to keep the enemies back as our friendlies continue to push into the enemy base and hopefully gain a stronghold there so they can push back the enemies to try and defend. They knock out our propulsion. We do have the last stand skill, so it'll still work, but propulsion being knocked out still reduces the accuracy of instructions given to your ship. This is a technique I saw a high-level destroyer use. Pop your smoke, and you would sit in it. And as long as there was a friendly around that provided intel, you were able to engage ships and see them. If there was no friendly cruiser in the area, I could not see these cruisers and these battleships over here on the north. That's why the Fubuki's gone. I'm the closest. I'm basically thick in smoke. They can't see me. 
but I can attack and send out torpedoes, and I try to send out torpedoes on that enemy cruiser, but he perceives them, obviously. You could see him maneuvering once they were visible. So we're going to try with the battleship. Battleships are much slower. The Mogami is way faster, way more agile, and it looks like we'll be able to catch that half-health battleship going up against the island, and it's going to box him in. He's going to have to decide how he's going to deal with the torpedoes once he starts seeing them. And you can see how close these ships are. Any one of these cruisers, if they had hydroacoustic, they could spot me. But we can't escape, that's why we're basically sitting here just slowing down the enemy. We have friendlies on their cap, but they are going against other ships that are on the cap. They finally defeated them, now they can start moving the cap in our favor, and it looks like our torpedoes, they might make contact with the enemy battleship. At least one, maybe two, all three, three of five hit, cause flooding, and he doesn't appear to have damage control, interestingly. I'm kind of surprised by that. Enemy Fubuki and Atlanta are somewhere close by, and we're spotted. Enemy Fubuki spotted us. We have one set of torpedoes we can use. The Atlanta sees us too. He opens fire. They knock out our propulsion. We use damage control. We're trying to get the hell out of here. The Fubuki is unsuccessful in angling his ship to avoid the torpedo. They make contact, cause flooding. We also cause flooding on the enemy Atlanta. The Fubuki's burning down. Torpedoes sent out. Don't know who exactly. They're so close together, and we die. And the enemy torpedoes just harmlessly pass through our ship as it's going to the bottom of the ocean. It's pretty awesome. We killed that battleship, we killed the Fubuki, and we did damage to the Atlanta. Now all our guys need to do is defeat this battleship and have help from the friendly battleship and the friendly cruiser that are near our base. They just need to reset it one time or two, and we'll be good to go. Just take this guy out. Come on, North Carolina. You can do it. Your guns are beautiful. This whole ship is beautiful. And they do. They take out the enemy battleship. There's nobody else on this side. He does take a dead ship's fire. But we still have that slight edge. We have a battleship, a friendly cruiser near our base that can still interrupt the enemy who are trying to capture. And it looks like we're going to win this with a cap. And this game was such a loss if it wasn't for the team in the east slowing down their progression. Because the western flank took a long time to get at the cap and defeat the enemy. It was pretty awesome to get those torpedo strikes and ultimately kill a couple enemies. It definitely screwed up their plan. I bet they didn't think I would stay in the smoke and ultimately ambush and kill a couple of them. Now there is an answer to it. Use hydroacoustic. But the meta is so anti-aircraft carrier right now that a lot of cruisers, maybe all of them, are using defensive fire. So it's going to be interesting to see the development of the game, to see if a couple destroyers start using this technique. Curious if cruisers will start using hydroacoustic. How much strategy does that open up to attack cruisers if you find out that maybe 30% of them aren't using defensive fire? It's going to be interesting. Now, clearly this is going to be a win. There's probably five, ten seconds left in the game. We got two kills. <laughs> Just telling them, sorry for Buki in Atlanta. So, two kills, 55,000 damage, 1,800 base XP. It was okay. This game is more interesting to me because of the smoke and having to slow down the enemy and just that ambush torpedo that actually worked out. Hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.